Hey there, we have a 100% chance of snails tomorrow. That's right, snails, some slimy, slippery snails and slugs. And I am gonna blow your mind as to why they come out after it rains. This is information that even I didn't know a couple days ago, but I got to researching it and then I did what I always do and I get to researching it way too much. And then I become an expert in it in like a matter of two days. And that's what I did with snails. So here's what happened, hi, here's what happened when I discovered why snails always come out after it rains. Okay, so what happens is snails, you know, they need moisture in their body to stay alive or else they'll dry out. So during periods of it being really dry out, they will go about an inch underground, just about an inch, not far, or they'll go under a rock or under a plant or somewhere where we can't see them. And what they will do is they will they will cover the hole to their shell with kind of a mucous membrane and then they dig way deep inside and then they go into the shell where they kind of like hang out and hibernate or they siesta right and they are chilling for the next rain so that's how they keep from drying out they kind of cover themselves in there so that they remain moist so when rain happens and they see that the rain is starting to hit the surface they don't want to drown okay the reason they don't want to drown they come out is because they breathe through their skin right so they come up out of the ground it'll help them they'll get moisture they don't have any fear of drowning but here is the big reason that they come out they come out and walk onto the sidewalks where they are seeking a mate so they hide out during the dry period and when they come out finally they are looking to mate so here's the thing snails are hermaphrodites right so that means they have both organs they both sex organs there's a few things you need to learn about this. This is what's really cool. While some breeds of snails can impregnate themselves, the typical California garden snail is not one of them, and so what happens is they can go out onto the sidewalk where they see other snails looking about, and they only just need to find another snail. It doesn't matter if it's male or female because they have both sexes, and what ends up happening is they have a little hookup, and here's where it gets crazy. They impregnate each other. They reproduce to each other. So it's pretty cool because they hang out in the dry weather for a long time and when they finally come out and we're seeing them all over the sidewalks, they're trying to do their thing and they're trying to find their mate. Then they mate and which means they're both pregnant at the same time. They go back underground or back where they hide and they eventually have their little baby snails about an inch underground and those snails will come out eventually, maybe when it rains, to start the whole cycle again. I had no idea, so I thought I just had to walk and be careful not to step on them, but now you have your assignment. Here's what we're gonna do, folks. You ready? So, this week when we have rain, and we're taking our kids to school or walking or walking to work and you see snails on the sidewalk, I don't want you to just make sure you don't step on them. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna stop, you're gonna pick one up, you're gonna move it to the next snail and matchmaker, done. <laughs> Let's get it on. See, snail loving. And you are never gonna see a snail in the rain the same again, folks. You're welcome. Ta-da.